What's going on y'all, VNNCC3 here, and in this video I'll be showing you a simple free to play team setup you can use to counter most prima donna team setups, so stay tuned. This prima donna setup is very popular from what I can see from all the teams put together. Let's break down how this team actually works. Let's start off with the big guy. The big guy is going to spearhead your operation and he's going to offer a lot of stuns to disable your enemies and a fair amount of damage, but he can also soak quite a bit of damage as well. Rose Knight is going to be used for her life-saving heal and her shield that she gives at the very start of the fight. The Petite Devil is going to mainly be used for her ultimate, but please do not forget about the amount of damage that she can actually put out. It's pretty damn serious. And, um... Prima Donna is used to essentially heal non-stop once either you're down a hero or you're up a hero, meaning it's a 5v4 in your favor or not in your favor. And she's gonna try to be she's gonna be healing like pretty much non-stop, but before she heals guys, she's gonna be absolutely useless to anybody on the team. And last but not least, Black Crow. She's gonna be used to basically just pump out the damage. Like real talk, man. This is the only I keep telling you guys, Black Crow is the only hero I actually fear in the Coliseum when she's maxed out. Oh, there's many counters to this team the one I'm going to be making is 100% free to play and everyone can make it We'll start off with Rose Knight because Rose Knight's going to give me that life-saving heal Not only that but her shielding at the very start is going to be more than enough to take care of my my entire team pretty much So the next one's going to be Demon Slayer Well Demon Slayer needs to say if he happens to attack this petite devil He's going to absolutely KO her in like one or two hits if that and if anything else if all else fails He'll go straight for the prima donna and KO her as well so the next year up on the list is going to be incinerator because incinerator is going to stun this entire front line um, essentially locking down this big guy because i don't need him to be throwing off stuns and he's not playing with the demon slayer so i don't have to worry about my incinerator dying anytime soon the next year is going to be tracker Tracker with her um, with her arrow rain ability or her arrow storm ability is going to further help my demon slayer knock out either this petite devil or this uh, prima donna. And last but not least, it's going to be trickster because when incinerator stuns the. Uh, the big guy right here, this trickster right here, is going to essentially disarm him. So let's go ahead and just clink these axes and see how this interaction works, shall we? I'll be doing a play-by-play -play commentation in super slow-mo so you guys can see the small interactions I'm talking about because that really does decide who wins 90% or higher of the time. Both teams will get the Coliseum buffs, but that's not the real reason why I won. Don't, don't build a team around your Coliseum buffs. Build them to counter the enemy team. And so both Rose Knights at the very start of the fight are going to shield their team, but I'm using Tracker and he's not. And so the reason, uh, the reason why I'm using Tracker is because the area damage she's going to provide, but she's also going to stun that Rose Knight because now she's in the very, very back. The Black Crow passes her now, and the tracker is about to throw out her curve shot and stun that Rose Knight. My Demon Slayer is about to wallop and silence everybody in that area. Trickster is about to reduce the accuracy of the big guy, and my Incinerator is getting ready to stun that big guy. As soon as he jumps up in the air, he's going to be stunned, there we go, get that stun, and now Trickster is going to disarm him. Demon Slayer is going to jump straight over to that Petite Devil, and pretty much, wh where did she go? She died, literally. Like, she's no longer part of this world. And now it's it's quickly a uh, 5v3, and I say 5v3 in my favor because that uh, Prima Donna is literally not doing anything for her team. Um, and my uh, Demon Slayer is essentially tackling down this Black Crow, um, and this big guy right here is soaking up all the Rose Knight heals because he's getting dangerously low every single time. This big guy is going to get one stun off on my team, which is okay. It's not a big deal. Um, I was hoping for a shutout of like just completely shutting him down, but for the most part, he pretty much did get shut down. And that's the super unfortunate part. Here we go. Demon Slayer is going to almost critically injure this Black Crow, and this Black Crow is going to ultimate because of it. And if all of these would have crit hit my Demon Slayer, he would have been dead. But that's not the end of the fight, unfortunately, because I've still got four other heroes that are getting ready to ultimate. And would take out the enemy team, um, like, with, with the power of Thundara on their side. You know what I'm saying? So, um, here we go. My Demon Slayer is about to ultimate, and he's got life drain, right? 
So he's going to basically drain some life every single time he hits a target. So he hit three targets, he gained three uh, 1,200, then 1,700, and then he's basically um, healing himself back up to, re to withstand one more auto attack from that Black Crow. But here we go. He kills, uh, he's going about to kill this Prima Donna here. Bam, look at that. And then the tracker is about to ultimate and kill this big guy. And Trickster's basically been shutting down this big guy, if you guys haven't noticed that either. Like, he's already got his accuracy reduced. And it's like right here, the Black Crow died, the Prima Donna died, and pretty much it is a slam dunk, guys. I don't know what else to say, man. I'm going to go ahead and resume this in full motion here for you guys. But those are the small little interactions you may or may not be pay uh, no noticing, you know what I'm saying here? So, um, yeah. Hopefully the team setups I brought to you today were useful and if you like the video please drop a like and if you aren't subscribed and would like to get up to date notices on when I upload these kinds of videos then please hit that subscribe button but y'all know what I'm talking about love peace and chicken grease be safe but above all stay classy.